the time frame realistically from when I started to actually seeing results, I would say probably about a month and a half. A month and a half to get the first listing on the contract. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, to get the first listing. Yeah. Awesome. So let's dive into like the numbers right away. I know people are asking like, all right, cool. So what are the tangible results? So looking at your account right now, you spent about $9,000 and correct me if like any of that is wrong, but $9,000 spent 134 leads. You went on 20 listing appointments. I'm talking like, you know, sitting down at the kitchen table, not like a phone appointment, like actual in-person listing appointments, seven listings, yeah, three physical. of them already sold, three active, one coming on soon yeah. on the market. And then you got $48,000 in GCI from the ones that are already sold yeah. and then potentially going to get 88,000 in the GCI whenever you sell the remaining ones. So that's potentially like a five yeah. times return on your investment. And then when you're going to sell the other ones, it's going to be a nine time return on your investment. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yes, absolutely. This is exactly how Jeremy Selmer added an extra $48,000 in GCI with seven listings in 11 months in Vancouver, BC, thanks to YouTube ads after being in our program, Listening Accelerator. So Jeremy, what's up, man? Welcome. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. Appreciate being here. I'm good. Thank you for, you know, joining the interview. So I guess the best place to start would be, can you just give your, like a little bit of intro and background of who you are and uh, who's Jeremy? So uh, I'm an agent here in Vancouver, BC. Uh, I actually got my license in a different city, in Kamloops. I've been licensed for about 16 years now. I moved to Vancouver about 10 years ago. Uh, I worked on a number of teams. And then probably in 2020, I went out on my own, uh, which was, you know, interesting. Uh, it was going okay, but... Um, I decided, uh, you know, I wanted to do more. So I started looking into some marketing options, which led me to uh, your organization. And then I liked what, uh, what you had to offer. It was a different approach of generating online leads. I tried it. I liked it. And it's good. Awesome. So let's dive into like the numbers right away. I know people are asking like, all right, cool. So what are the tangible results? So looking at your account right now, you spent about $9,000. And correct me if like any of that is wrong, but $9,000 spent 134 leads. You went on 20 listing appointments. I'm talking like, you know, sitting down at the kitchen table, not like a phone appointment, like actual in-person listing appointments, seven listings, yeah, three physical. of them already sold, three active, one coming on soon yeah. on the market. And then you got $48,000 in GCI from the ones that are already sold yeah. and then potentially going to get 88,000 in the GCI whenever you sell the remaining ones. So that's potentially like a five yeah. times return on your investment. And then when you're going to sell the other ones, it's going to be a nine time return on your investment. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. So how the hell did you manage to like pull in these results? People want to know. Uh, so I followed your instruction on what to do. I'm not a big social media guy, but I'm starting to get there a little bit more, <clears throat> you know, in terms of setting things up. And um, so I just followed the program. The leads started to come in. I had a bit of experience from being on teams of working online leads. So I, I had to practice and polish my skills a little bit more through some of the teaching that you've done, but I just followed it. I just kept at it. Um, it started to generate better results. And as I got better results, I saw that it was working more. So then I started to double down on it. And, and from there, I just started to increase. And now I'm looking to do more. Nice. So when you said uh, at the beginning, you know, uh, it, it took a little bit of time to get the ball rolling. Somebody looking at this and maybe they're looking to start running ads on YouTube or Facebook or any other platform, I guess, what's a realistic time frame for them to see the first results? So you're like, from my experience, I was seeing leads, I would say within the first three weeks, like first week I was getting leads and hits, right? Getting people on the phone, talking to them, probably still around the three weeks. But being able to get in front of people probably within the first month. And then I was probably going on my listing, like my CMAs with some of these uh, potential leads, 
probably about a month, month and a half in. Yeah. And then, so by the two month mark, I had already started to like see results, started relationships with people. Now, when I started, this was like late last year. So of course we had the winter break and everything come up. So I was coming into the new year having already secured a couple clients directly from this program. So it was nice to go into the new year new, knowing that, okay, I've got these listings. I find that listings right now, obviously you can meet a buyer, you can meet an online buyer, start working with them. And, and maybe within like, you know, two weeks of meeting them, you're out, you're looking at housing. Maybe it's a little bit quicker, but what I found was really interesting about working with you guys and the listings is it may take a little bit longer, but now I've got that listing. So now it's mine, right? Like, and I'm not from the perspective of, I have all the other agents in the city working for me to help sell that listing, right? right. And then you also get the phone calls that come in with it. So the time frame, realistically, from when I started to actually seeing results, I would say probably about a month and a half. A month and a half to get the first listing on the contract. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, to get the first listing. Yeah. Awesome. So obviously you had amazing results with YouTube bats. Now, if you had to tell yourself one thing, like one advice to the Jeremy <laughs> before starting running like the YouTube ads, what would that be? That's a really great question. I would probably tell me that um, trust the process, number one going to work. And then the second thing would be, I would probably start scaling a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. So because it was a little bit new of a process to me, I waited a little bit longer to actually scaling up because you guys tell us like, you know, scale by 20%, get the results, get the ball moving. I waited a little bit on that. And that's, you know, I would tell, I would go back and I would probably tell myself that, you know, to scale a little bit quicker. Now, don't be reckless, obviously. And, you know, everyone's got to start somewhere with a certain budget. But once you start seeing those results, scale it up a bit more, right? That would be number one. And then number two, the second thing I would tell myself is the leads are going to come. So have a system in place so that when they come in, you can follow up with them properly. And then the third thing is, Get your listing presentation polished, right? You don't want to be practicing on live leads, figuring out your listing presentation. Like I had a halfway decent listing presentation, but my listing presentation now compared to where it was is night and day difference, right? So unfortunately, I you know, I didn't follow that advice and unbeknownst to me because I was so used to working with a lot of listings that were either past clients or referrals and whatnot. Because when I was on the team model, the listings always went to the head realtor and I worked with a lot of buyers. So buyers, easy. But with listings, I had to polish my listing presentation. So I was unfortunately learning a little bit on those leads. So what I would recommend is to get your listing presentation polished, start doing it right away. As soon as you get the leads, you're going to learn a little bit as you go, but it's very important to get that dial. So when you show up, this looks like something you're doing all the time and it's not a big deal. Right. Yeah. That's great advice. So Let's say somebody though, doesn't have a lead flow like you have right now, thanks to the YouTube ads and they want to like polish their presentation. What would you advise them that they do? Like, should they like start role-playing with like <laughs> their like spouse? Yeah, or... absolutely. Absolutely. Start role-playing, role-play with, role-play with other people at work, role-play with people in a mastermind group role pay with your significant other. I would even like talk things out in my car <laughs> as yeah. I'm driving to work or driving to appointments. And then like have like a plan set out of being like, okay, how am I going to give this listing presentation? Right? Like you just don't want to show up and spew a whole bunch of stuff on a seller. Cause they're going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So like have a formula, right? So mine is I start with the market. So first thing I talk about is what's happening in the market. Then the second step I go to, I start to talk about, okay, then we go to the CMA. So first we talk about the market, what's happening in the market. Then we talk about the CMA, the home evaluation for their home. And then the third step is, okay, this is what I do differently than some of the other agents. 
right? So first I'm explaining the market, then I explain where your house sits in the market. Then the third part I talk about is this is the marketing, this is what I do differently, right? So I'm walking them down a path, right? Of, you know, here's what's happening. Here's what your house is worth. Here's how I solve that problem right? I didn't have that three-step formula when I first started. So I would just show up and it was more like sort of a loose conversation. And then I'd feel that I'd get off track sometimes, you know, and then I'd, I'd remember things that I wanted to tell them and I didn't tell them. So then I started with that three-step formula. And then I started going into each one of those points and making sub points inside of it. So now I know that if I'm in a conversation with a potential listing, you know, I've got different talking points on each one of those areas. So then when they're asking me if, if it's out of order, right, I can jump back into the order that I have under each one of those topics. Yep. Right. And then that rounds it off nicely. Yeah, that's nice. It's like, uh, I don't know if you know, Jordan Belford, uh, he talks about like the strain, the straight line persuasion. So basically following a s- simple process Yeah. and then bring back the client to like that straight line if they get on off track or if you do get off track, you know what I mean? So yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's great. Um, so basically just practice exactly. nailing that. I know one thing you're really great at as well is dealing with cold leads. Like you said, a lot of real estate agents are just used to getting a phone call from like a past client or a referral. So obviously it's not the same deal as a complete stranger. So what would be your number one advice for agents that are new to lead generation online? Essentially when they're trying to get the lead to book an appointment with them. So like you're not trying to sell yourself over the phone right away. You're trying to get the appointment. That's the first thing. So you're not going to list their home over the phone. You're not going to give them the valuation over the phone and you're not going to get them to hire you over the phone. All you're trying to do is get face to face, right? So I would typically start off a conversation with a cold lead, just have a little bit of talk, say that I'm following up on the fact that they called me or sorry, that I called them. So I try and build a little bit of rapport in the beginning. Then I ask them a bunch of questions about their home. You're asking a lot of probing questions. And then from there, you're trying to go in for the, well, you know what? How about I come by? I'll give you a free CMA for your place. I'll tell you what the value of your home is in the current market. And if it makes sense to sell right now. Is that okay? Right. I'll start with a bunch of questions, try and walk them down the line. If we can get the appointment, great. No problem. If they give me a brush off or something like that, I don't give up on them. I'll still, I'll call them. I'll follow back up. I've got a couple of people that I've literally been calling and talking to for months. Right. And, you know, they're still not ready. They still don't know everything else. I'm still keeping top of mind. Right. And it's a numbers game. So you've got to be consistent. You've got to follow up and you've got to make those phone calls. But a lot of the money is made in the the follow up. Right. And it's in the consistency. So be consistent and follow up. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the old quote, like uh, the money is in the follow up, but it, it is actually true. So, yeah. You know, Jeremy, there's a lot of, you know, lead gen companies that usually like are not able to like deliver, right? What we found is like most of the agents inside our program have been burnt before by other lead gen companies, right? And marketing companies. So considering that, how were you able to make the decision to like move forward with us despite all that's going on right now in the market? I think, you know, I literally get called or emailed or reached out to on social media all the time from lead generating companies, you know, from wanting to sell Facebook leads to like Instagram leads to, you know, Google leads. There's all so many different types of leads, but the difference was your guys' approach was different. It was fresh. It was something that I hadn't seen before. It made sense with the fact that, you know, video is more impactful than, you know, other types of online marketing. And I would say that, you know, I really believed in what you guys were doing. It was different. It was unique. And I just felt that you guys, like, and you do, like, you guys actually truly care about the agents, right? It's not about, okay, we're going to charge you the sign up fee, get this. 
And then we're just going to spew off a bunch of leads to you that don't make sense. There's a couple things that I had to tweak along the way, especially in those first couple months. Vancouver is a different market. We're not the same market as a lot of other markets. I mean, I know everybody says their markets are different, but Vancouver is a very different market. So some of the marketing tactics or, or that we've had to use here, we've had to tweak. And you guys are willing to do that. So you don't have a one size fits all. Like you do have your program, but that that was sort of reassuring to me, right? And and that willingness to do that made me more comfortable with with moving forward. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, I appreciate that. Jeremy, what would you say to somebody that's on the fence of joining our program? I've been there. I know what you're thinking. But the reality of the day is if you're willing to commit and you're willing to follow the process, this is going to show you the results. It is going to work for you, right? It's not going to be easy, but out of all the online lead generating things that I have tried, this one has probably delivered the best results. Got it. Well, appreciate that. So thank you so much, Jeremy, for your time here. And again, congrats for your amazing success with your YouTube ads inside our program. And uh, cheers to more success, man. Thanks, man. I really look forward to it and uh, appreciate your time. Same here.